hello students in this video we will draw the shown figure in absolute coordinate method and direct distance entry method right so the dimensions of the figure are given to you so you can see the dimensions and there are two circles also the diameters of those two circles are also given right so first of all let us find out the actual coordinates of this figure so here you can see the different coordinates have been mentioned at the points like this point this coordinate will be 0 comma 0 this corner will be 0 comma 44 this corner will be 32 comma 76 this corner it will be 76 comma 76 this will be 120 comma 44 this will be 120 comma 0 right and the centers of the circles are 36 comma 36 and 84 comma 20 so we will be drawing this by using line command and using the actual coordinates okay we will be using the absolute coordinate system to draw this right so let us see the algorithm so here you can see i'll use line command then i'll enter 0 comma 0 0 comma 44 32 comma 76 76 comma 76 120 comma 44 120 comma 0 0 comma 0 and then escape key to come out of line command right so let us first of all draw this much let us move to autocad so select line command write line press enter so the first point i am taking it to be 0 comma 0 take it to be 0 comma 0 so this is 0 comma 0 the next point is 0 comma 44 after that it is 32 comma 76 then it is 76 comma 76 then it is 120 comma 44 120 comma 0 then again 0 comma 0 press enter let us press escape key to come out of the line command right now let us move to the next part so in the next part it is given select point style okay basically point style is a style of a point that you will be entering for the centers of the circles right so we'll i'll discuss in it in the autocad also so there are two uh, you know keywords by which you can activate point style one is p type other is ddp type so if you are use, using the latest versions so you can use p type and if older versions you are using for autocad you can use ddp type right so write p type press enter so here you can see various point styles are there okay so any of the point styles you can select let us suppose this is the point style i want to select and press ok right now i'll go to point command right point select point command and the coordinates 
of the uh, center of the first circle is 36 comma 36 right so let us write 36 comma 36 so automatically the center of the circle has been located again let us go to point command to locate the center of the second circle so the coordinates of the second uh, center of the second circle is 84 comma 20 so let us write 84 comma 20 press enter right so we have located the two centers of the circles right so now let us draw the circles the first circle is of diameter 36 second circle is of, of diameter 21 so now let us go to circle command this is circle command so it is asking specify center point for the circle so this is the first center point so click over here now for diameter we just select diameter over here the diameter of the first circle is 36 so you write 36 and press enter so this is the first circle second circle is of diameter 21 go to circle command again center point for the second circle this is the center point and select diameter diameter is 21 press enter so now you can see we have drawn this figure we have completed this figure right so let us increase the line weight of the figure let us make it 1 mm so now we have drawn this with the help of absolute coordinate system let us redraw this figure with the help of direct distance entry method right so let us just delete this select the figure let us delete it now again let us draw this figure with the help of direct distance entry method so before that to turn on ortho mode with the help of F8 or you can just click over here let us go to line command this is line command so first point you can select any first point let us say randomly I am selecting this first point right now to repeat what is direct distance entry method direct distance entry method is used when you just want to enter the length of line and automatically a line is drawn in the direction in which your cursor is pointing right so let us just continue so this is the first point I have selected so vertically let me just come to the first figure so vertically it is 44 first of all so I have selected ortho mode so I'll just write 44 then press enter then it is 32 this is 32 upwards and 32 on the right 32 upwards and then 32 on the right and then again it is 44 in this direction So after this, for this line, we do not have any dimensions, neither the angle is given to us, okay, nor any of the distances are given. So we will just press escape key and I'll again start over from the first point, from the starting point and I'll start in the other direction. from here it is 120 
in this direction and 44 upwards right so you can turn off ortho mode and you can join these two corners also you can delete these two lines extra lines and you can join these two corners again like this so now we have completed the outer part of the figure let us locate the centers of the two circles that we need to draw inside this let us see how far those centers are so it is 36 mm in the horizontal direction 36 mm in the vertical direction line command again so 36 mm in this direction this is 36 and 36 mm in this direction right similarly the other circle the center of this circle is located at distance of 84 mm in the horizontal direction and 20 mm in the vertical direction from the start point so 84 and then 20 right so we have got two corners now you can just mark points here so let us say this is the center of the first circle this is the center of the second circle so you can delete these extra lines also so no need of these lines right now you can just draw the circles let us go to circle command center specify the center so this is the first center right so diameter is 36 enter diameter press enter again so again go to circle command the second circle center of the second circle then diameter and then diameter is 21 mm press enter so we have completed this figure in all respects okay let us now increase the thickness of the lines select the whole figure let us go to this option and take the thickness of the line to be 1 mm for this make sure the show or hide line weight this is on otherwise the thickness of the line will not be visible to you after this let us dimension the figure so let us dimension first of all I'll dimension this one this is 36 again linear dimensioning this is 44 again linear dimensioning from this corner to this corner this is 32 from this corner to this corner the horizontal distance is 32 again again from this corner to this corner it is 44 I repeat linear so the linear distance horizontally it is 36 again linear distance it is 84 And this is 120 so all the linear distances we have located now let us 
go for diameter select diameter under dimensioning so this is the first circle so you just click on the circle and you will be able to show the diameter again select diameter click on the other circle right so now this figure is complete okay so let us see it in the layout also so in the layout this figure is very well visible to us so you can see okay i suppose the construction of this figure is clear to you thank you very much